In this video, we'll be describing what a quadratic function is, and we'll be reviewing the three types of equation forms for a quadratic function. So a quadratic function has a very specific shape called a parabola. So if you hear the word parabola, we're also talking about a quadratic function. So keep that in mind. Parabola and quadratics, that word goes together. All quadratic functions have this general shape of a U. So you can see that it's a curved U shape. It is not a line like a V, but they all have this curved U shape. And there's variations of them, but they're all curved U shapes. And those U shapes are called parabolas in math class. Then from here, the other thing you need to know is all functions or equations with a highest variable exponent of 2 will have this shape. So some examples that you'll see are y equals x squared plus 4x minus 6. Notice here that the highest variable exponent that we have is right here at 2. You also may see this written as something like y equals 3 minus 4x squared. Again, notice here that our highest variable exponent is 2. So some non-examples, so you know what won't have this shape, would be something like y equals 3x minus 4. Notice we don't have a variable exponent of 2, so this would not produce a parabola. We also might see something like y equals 4x cubed plus 7x squared. Notice that there is an x squared here, but it's not the highest variable exponent. We have an x cubed. And as a result, that will not produce a parabola. So parabolas have a very specific function type with the highest variable exponent being 2. So there are three main ways that a quadratic equation or function can be written. The first you should be familiar with already as we saw it in chapter 1, and that's our vertex form. So we have y equals, we have our a value out in front, we have our b value if we have one in front of the x value, then we have plus h squared plus k. Now typically the ones that we'll see will only have a, h, and k, but we have been exposed to b, so I'm including it here in vertex form. And we'll see that and we'll start graphing that one since that's the form that we're most familiar with. Then the second form that you've seen before back in Algebra 1 is called standard form, and that's typically written as y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And something to note here is that the a, b, and c values here are different than what you saw up in vertex form. So these have different a, b, and c values with different meanings. But we have vertex form, we have standard form where everything is expanded out, and then we also have intercept form, which is y equals a, and then you'll see x plus p, times x plus q in parentheses. So we'll be reviewing these different types of forms and we'll be learning how to solve word problems and graph quadratic equations or functions that are written in the various forms that you see on your screen.